The first tutorial series is dedicated to a well-known neurophysics technique known as AMPHIS. By learning this technique, you can write a variety of articles. This series contains 198 minutes of practical training. By watching this series, you will be able to learn this effective and efficient technique with numerous applications. These models are known as ANFIS and they have many applications that are not limited to a few fields. So far, these models have been used for a variety of problems and fields, some of which can be seen here. These models are used for their high efficiency, flexibility, high accuracy, good performance and low error. This method can also be combined with other computational intelligence methods. This tutorial is divided into five sections, the first of which explains the introduction and details of the calculation as well as the applications. The second part is dedicated to modeling in MATLAB using two toolboxes and coding. The third part is dedicated to what is required to write an article in the AMPHIS method and what points should be paid attention to. And the fourth part is dedicated to how to extract the mathematical formulation from the structure of the AMPHIS model. Finally, a hybrid approach that combines the AMPHIS model with Optimization algorithms is described. You can write a scientific article utilizing the neurophysic systems method after watching this tutorial. Below are some samples of videos from this tutorial. We enter the X values into the membership functions to determine the degree to which X belongs to each of these inputs, such as how much X1 belongs to the first group, how much it belongs to the second group, and so on. How will we accomplish this? We enter the value of X1 into MF1 and read the function's output. This demonstrates how much of x1 belongs to mf1. We enter the value of x into the Gaussian function and read the value of the function, which is a number between 0 and 1, that shows the degree of belonging of x to mf1. This must be done for all of these functions. We couldn't have a special function form for each variable in the previous part toolbox and we could only change its number. We must do the same for the output variable. As previously stated, there are two options here, linear or constant. I'd like to use the constant form in this section. We can also select linear or constant because we don't have another significant option here. In general, such a table can be created with information for the training data, test data, total data, and each of the x variables and output variables separately. The variables minimum, maximum, standard deviation, mean, and average are presented here. These parameters are typically extracted from the database as statistical data.
We can click on each of these inputs and take the median and variance values for each of these membership functions that are here, which means it is a time-consuming task and sometimes for various reasons such as the fact that the functions overlap each other or even if there are a lot of them it is a difficult task and there is a possibility of error in the collection which is why coding is much better therefore i'll add a section here to extract the details of membership functions to accomplish this We only changed one section of the Amphis model's main file, which was after the initial model. This function is used for optimization in this field. Optimization using transit search. It also takes training values and we specify the mean and max values to led it to find the best values for the variables in the range.